that's it for the cobblestone. So we're going to have to definitely get more of the cobblestone. Um, but this is pretty much ready to go for now. And then we can kind of pretty much continue another time. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of seven days. It's the morning of day number three. And we're just getting our horde base prepped up here for tomorrow's horde. Just a little bit before we go ahead and do some digging for the treasure. Um, I went ahead and put in this uh, doorway here. So that way we have some protection for the horde tomorrow night. So that should do fairly well. They, sh they should still see this as a good path because uh, this stuff is nowhere near. Um as strong as the cobblestone uh so we should be fine and then uh the cobblestone is basically 1500 hit points um this is a little bit more than the actual cobblestone but i think we should be okay um i might end up removing some of the hatches just to kind of be sure of that but i think we should be fine or i might just put in hatches instead of the doorway first um but i'm not entirely sure yet but we'll figure that out as we go along. Uh, just a few more patches here that I do want to make. Um, I do actually want to get rid of all of these windows just so they don't see it as another way of getting inside. So this is concrete. We won't be able to do it, anything with that, but we'll be able to fill it in. So it won't be a big deal. This block is a tad bit weak, so we're going to need to get rid of that. We're also going to need to get this coal out of the way. Um, so let's do that real quick. And then we are just going to have to fill this in. Uh, but that'll be after we go ahead and basically cobblestone all of this up. And then, of course, fill that in as well. Now, we can't really see in here. Well, this looks like cobblestone, but it's not. It's completely concrete. This is going to be my first official house holding it up as a base. So I'm hoping that it's going to go fairly well. But we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm planning on making this place, like I said in the beginning of this series, as a, uh, a pit base. So my plan is to basically knock all of this metal stuff out. Take out the toilet, of course, and the sink and the and the mirror, and basically make this whole section into the actual uh, part of the base. And then around here in this area will be part of the pit. So once they're coming up here, if they do manage to get through the actual doorway and the hatches, um, you know they'll be faced basically with the pit. Um, I also do need to make sure that we close off this area because I don't want them to see this as another way to get to us. Um, and this is all going to be closed in, I think. Um, so that will avoid them having to basically try to find other ways of getting to us. And they basically just have one particular way in order to get in. So that's the plan. Um, it is going to take a decent amount of work to do, but... That's all right. I think we'll be, uh, I think we'll be fine. All right. That's going to be a good amount of work that we'll do for now. Go ahead and knock that out. And we're just going to go ahead and put some frames in here. We'll leave the uh, hatch back here just in case for now. But eventually we will have to break that down, which I'm not too worried about. Um, I do want to knock down those stairs and do all that kind of stuff, but we'll go ahead and finish you know, the reservations as we get home. Uh, I'm not worried about that stuff right now. Let's go ahead and, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and see if we have anything to drink. I did drink that last little bit of water earlier as I was doing some construction here to the base. Um, we did end up drinking some of that sham chowder. Or we drank all of the sham chowder, actually. Um, I do want to bring this down because we are going to need to cook some meat before we leave. Um, We've got some honey, which I am going to take the first aid bandages. Um, I don't think I have... Oh, we have a coffee. We might just go ahead and drink that because we are pretty thirsty. Uh, we don't have a cooking pot yet, so it's not like we can make boiling water at the moment. So that is going to be a area of priority. 
So we're going to have to absolutely get that done. Um, let me go ahead and cook up this meat. I think we can, right? Whoops. All right, we can get 13. We're going to cook about, I'd say, seven. There we go. We'll put the rest of the stuff away that we don't need, and we'll get a move on. All right, so buried supplies usually take a little bit of time, so hopefully we can make good on time here. So uh, let's try knocking out some of these plant fibers just to make it a little bit easier. And we'll get to digging. So how I like to do my digging is I like to go ahead and make a couple of divots in the ground, and then I like to go ahead and actually see where the hole, the, <laughs> the hole, I mean, it is a hole, or it's going to be a hole, but to see where the circle goes, basically. Um, wherever the direction that the circle is going to be closing in, that's where I basically focus my attention. And I found that usually I am able to uh, find the, the chest a little bit quicker that way. Um, sometimes you get luckier than most times. Sometimes the game kind of chip you know, gyps you out of finding it quickly, but that's what I found to be the most efficient. All right, so the circle didn't move too far in, but it's telling me that it's going a little bit further towards the middle. So we're just going to go ahead and keep digging. All right, so it's going more and more towards this side. So I'm going to go ahead and change up to this side over here and see if we do find it. Um, because that's basically where the circle is telling us uh, basically to go. Now, the reason why I keep jumping out of the hole, I, I know that this is a tier one uh, job, but sometimes the game will spawn uh, enemies. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Um, but I noticed that when I was playing Fortress and also the other series that I've played where we're doing a tier one uh, digging job and it will spawn enemies. So we just have to be very careful that, you know, we're not trapped down there when it does that. Oh, there it is. What I tell you. All right. Um... There's going to be zombies that spawn in, so we're going to have to grab this and get out of here. Uh, we got a book. We're going to drink that. We're going to eat both of these foods because we just got hungry. And we should be good to go. All right. Let's make this quick. Don't want to waste any ammo. We're actually going to go with the knife. There's one down. Oh, two down. All right, there we go. That's what I love about the knife. Chicken. Oh, <laughs> you lucky chicken. Uh... Oh, I was going to say you live to see another day, but nope. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, wrecked. How about I empty your pockets? Now that you did the job. All right, let's return this job here. Oh, we got some pipe bombs. That's good. We got great heist. Uh, let's see what this book says. Stealthy sprinting, sneaking quietly without getting exhausted, takes practice but is impossible. Use no stamina while sneak sprinting. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I do want to get the pipe bombs, though. That's pretty tempting uh, for tomorrow's horde, especially. Yeah, let's do that. Going with the pipe bombs. 
Um, we do have a fetch that's pretty close. Listen Let's do up, that. Jackhead. What are you standing there for? Don't you have? All right, wrecked. I'll be back. Let's uh see how far this job is. Looks like right into town. So let's head on over. Let's see if we can get that done pretty quick. As quickly as we can, anyway. Without dying, preferably. Oh, it's up the mountain? Oh. Uh, I don't know if I want to go that far. Um, well, let's check it out. Let's see how far it actually is. And then we can kind of make a determination from there. There is a road that goes up that way. So it might not be too, too far. Oh, you fell through the rock. That's a bunch of crap. Uh, whatever. All right, so tier one. So here we go. Let's be careful of any dogs. That's what got us last time. And I'm going to try to be not so complacent this time because uh, we are on a harder difficulty this is something I got to keep reminding myself oh look he's poking his head out can I shoot him we can he's breaking something in there all right, well, let's uh, go through a different way. They'll make their way out eventually. It's uh, wood. Uh, they can't get up here, so... It's a bummer for them. Unless they kind of come around. Can we make some more uh, arrows? Get some of those going. We take out, uh, is that Kenneth? I took him out. All right, someone else is sleeping, I think, below. Oh. Didn't fall for that. Might be below us here. I think. Possibly? No? What was that? I think that broke out. Oh, not yet. They're trying to. See at the door right here? Where is he? Y'all wake up, please. It'll just be better if you guys just woke up. Oh, there we go. Oh, where's he breaking out of? Hold on. Ah, he's breaking out of there. Mo's dead. Alright, now where are the rest of these other jokers here? There is a ladder here. Why aren't they using that? Oh, here they come, I think. It doesn't seem like they're wanting to come up. I think the best way is to probably uh, just fight them out here. You know?
All right. Well, I think they're dead. Yep. Where's this other guy at? At this door. There we go. Perfect. We can just go through here. Let's knock the rest of this down. Take that arrow back. Thank you. Is that everybody in here? It's a little way down, too. All right. Let's just make sure... This whole place is clear. I believe it is. I didn't bring any torches or anything. Job's done. Oh, here we go. Knew there were some down there. Oh, out of stamina. There we go. Go ahead and grab that loot bag, and uh, we'll go ahead and grab the loot. And it sucks not having stamina. <laughs> We're going to have to put some points into uh, cardio. Anything that's stamina related, because this is, this is brutal. Oh, we got some NVGs. That's cool. Take that ammo. Anything good in the clothes? Uh, not really. Let's see what we got for uh, loot down there. Where are we at? That's a cellar door that's locked. Alright, well, here's the main loot. Um, I don't think we have any lock picks, so we're gonna have to come back for that. Let's just go ahead and mark that on the map. There we are. Let's uh, have our way with this loot here, and we'll get out of here. Oh, got some uh, electric wire relays. Ten of them. Not bad. Uh, we'll ditch the stump a ton parts, and what else can we get rid of? We'll ditch the nails for now, we'll just scrap them. That'll give us a little bit of thirst. And I think that's everything. Alright, yep, that's about it. And we'll come back from for the uh, locked chest, of course. Alright, let's get out of here. Bacon and eggs and coffee. That's good. Uh, good on the sandwich. And what a shame, no, uh... No cooking pot, huh? Wish we would have found one of those in here, at least. Uh, kind of the thing that we need right now. What's up, old man? I'm done with the job. 
best keep clear. What you got for me? Oh, Molotovs. That's good. Uh, I've got a Fireman's Almanac. All the conditions and extreme temperatures have given you 10% greater hypothermal resistance. That's pretty good. Uh, weighted head mod. We can use that for the club. But we are going to go mainly knives. Um, I'm going to go with the Molotovs. Go with the throwables. I think that's going to be the best way to go. Let's see, we'll take a job for tomorrow. This is another buried supplies. The first one did take quite a while, so I'm gonna hold off on the buried supplies. We'll do a clear. Not important. You better not fuck this and uh, we'll get that done tomorrow. You know what? I am in need of a cooking pot, so I'm wondering if one of these places might have one. I do wanna to try to get one really quick. Because that is essential. Because we do need to cook up some of this water. Um, we are a bit encumbered though, so we, we gotta watch it on that front. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if we can get one, you know? This might not be the best place. Try to get a cooking pot. Um, let's see, is, is there one in there? Can't seem to tell. Doesn't look like there is. Buzz bar is a tier one. Might be able to find something in here, I think. Potentially. Is this working? Oh, it is. That's good. Um, I don't know. Dell's Cafe might have a, might have a cooking pot in there. I mean, what cafe doesn't have a cooking pot? You know what I mean? Oh, come on. Oh, no arrows. I guess let's just, uh, try our luck. See somebody back there. Some mo. I gotta keep our eyes on the time. Here for a cooking pot. <clears throat> Anything in there? Maybe we could search it. back there. Anything good? Uh, charred meat. More food. Food book and more food. Marky water. Still no booze, though. Alright, I was just here for the kitchen. I have no need to... Uh, oh, there's there goes some booze. I have no need to go to the backyard. Coffee? Nope. Let's head over to the cafe and see if we find anything good. I know we're encumbered, so we just need to be a little careful. Man, do I really have to drop into this place? I kind of don't. Just want a cooking pot. You know? 
Um, what if we break open this front entrance? Well, that's glass, too. Uh-oh. Okay, well, let's take her out first. What is that? Is that a dog? Um, let's find out. Yep, sure is a dog. Let's, uh, get up here. Might be coming out through here somewhere. Here we go. Maybe through this window. I really just want to get that dog killed. There we go. Dog's dead. Okay. I think we should be good to get in here. Somebody else? Sounds like some other people are kind of falling out. Or maybe not. I don't know. All I know is that, uh... Oh! That's not good. Get, get up. Get out the window. There we go. That was close. About to be nightfall, so we gotta be quick. Okay. Wait, this is a loot room? We're gonna take a steroid. Because, uh, we're pretty encumbered at this point. And I think we're just going to get the loot, and we're just going to come back another time, because we're running dangerously close to nightfall. Right, we're going to have to get out of here. We'll make our way back. There's a businessman right there. Oh boy. We might just have to uh, stay at the diner. There's no easy way back. Let's see if we can go around him. This entire time I went the wrong direction. So we're just out here roaming around at night. Oh boy. This is not good. Um. Oh, man. Oh, come on, snake. Not now. There's another zombie there.
Oh, he's eating that snake. All right, well, this is what it's come to. We're going to have to uh, hold out here until morning. It's a good thing we had all those frames on us. But uh, I think we should be perfectly fine. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it here. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you guys on the next episode.